Greetings, ladies and the players. This Friday in June of 2021, making it a wonderful day for basics. I'm over here, believe it or not, on Pandanet. Why, Pandanet, you may inquire. Along with the OGS, for servers people tend to think are, you know, super strong. Another one is Pandanet, because they play very, very differently. And I've run into a few people who have said, you know what, gosh darn it, I'm a Don player, a 1 Don, a 2 Don, a 10 Don, and a 15, I'm 20 Don. 20 Don on Fox. I am 52 Don on Tygem. But you know what, for some reason, I'm only a 5Q on, on Pandanet. What's, what, what's up with that? And okay, haven't done a Pandanet Basics in a while. And I thought with our lovely month of fighting things, I think Pandanet, Pandanet fits quite nicely, I feel. I feel like it fits quite nicely. On Pandanet, there's a lot more uh, people who are going to be giving you Sente, uh, in my opinion. So usually uh, servers like OGS, Pandanet, KGS, it's more about what to do with Sente than just responding to the crazy person who's just, like, got their eyes closed and trying to punch you in the face. So, yeah, this, this should be good. This should be good. Let's get a game. At 4Q. All right. Got a game against an Amerikanski. I will say hello to the American. Now... They're 4Q, I'm 4Q, I'm 4Q question mark, technically. Now, how we open up isn't really important, only that I don't really want to do a framework. Uh, I'm, I'm doing this entirely too much. Tell you what, I'm going to do 3, 4, face, and then maybe enclose. I mean, I could do a framework, it's just... If it, it feels too easy to sucker them into, like, a silly position, because nowadays people are, like, not... Not aware of how to deal with frameworks, like, at all. Uh, wonder who to blame for that one, eh? So let's go ahead and just do a simple enclose, see what they want to do. Now, just because I'm enclosing here doesn't mean that I'm... I'm not able to fight. For a while there, the orthodox was extremely, extremely, um... common, and yet... it was common by, you know... Chinese and Korean players who were known frickin' fighters. So it just means you have like a solid position to attack from, if that's what you want to do. That's all. You can grow from it too, though, to be fair. Like, you don't have to attack. But I go for a framework and then play something like, uh... Make this a little bit larger. Like this little guy. That way I can threaten to build up like this side or this side, depending on what I do here. Like, that's, that's fine, too. But you do this after you've, like, ex already expended, uh, extended, sorry. Otherwise, it's just, you know, fucking strange. So, he's building, which is what we typically see on uh, Pandanet. And if you're bad at reducing, then, you know, their server's gonna walk all over you. Unfortunately, the one-point jump doesn't make a whole lot of sense here, because, as you can see, there's nothing here. So, he's jumping to get influence to... Oh, and even if, even if he gets another move in here, what's what, what what's he gonna do? There's still like invasion points and whatever, so who cares? So we'll approach. We can just happily ignore this. He can't take the entire top side in one move. I'm not even sure he can take it in two moves, to be honest. So just don't freak out. Like yeah, you're building, but. Prove that it's something I have to care about. If it never becomes something I have to care about, then this move in and of itself was not a good one. And yeah, like right now. This move makes no sense with this. We attach inside. Uh-huh. He's going to go for third line to build up to the... Hmm? Hmm? He's going to be like really, really low here. How does a really, really low position here help him grow to this? 
Because then at best, you're looking at like a stone here to there. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, 14. I'm supposed to freak out over 15 points? Are you crazy? It's like, oh no! It's like, no, come on, that's, 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 you can't do that. Now this is the first part where I could be aggressive if I really wanted to. I could go straight at his shape point, but this doesn't really get an aggressive game going that I want to play. This is just kind of a game that's just going to spiral from this position out to like the middle of who caresville. So I'm just gonna jump out. He'll probably shoulder. He'll probably shoulder. That's pretty greedy. So I should play here right now and win game because the upper left hand corner is gonna be fully surrounded with like uh, just second line garbage. And this is gonna have a corner, but I'll have an enclosure. I'll have an extension off my enclosure. I'll have completely surrounded the corner, which gives me influence. And that's I, that's that's a painful position to be in. But tell you what, I will give him a nod. Allow him to fix this, because I want to get the attack in from jumping out from here and then pincering this little guy. That is more of a thing that I can wrap my head around. You're kind of weird, bruh. Okay. I I tried. There's your shape point gone. Now what? Okay. Like, he's not dying, but all the territory on top of the board just disappeared. So, all of the potential here just disappeared and went to here. My potential's fine. I got territory, territory. I can extend from it. We've got multi-invasions on the right. Like, I can do this one still. He should be looking to do the enclosure, but even if he encloses, we've got something over here still. That said, I might go ahead and approach from the other side, and I don't want to make, like, a bunch of different circles here, so we'll just do the 3-3. Three, three. Uh... Ironically, <laughs> to represent either approach. He's going to play here now, I think, is what's going to happen. Because, see, that way he can push and cut without me attiring here and connecting. But the minute he does that, he's going to die. He plays here, I'm going to kick. He pushes and he cuts. I get to turn, and then I get to Hane, and these one, two, three, four, five liberties. Yippers. Uh, do I do this one? This could be a thing. Is it a thing? I kind of like it. Because, like, why? I mean, I could do this one, but it feels like this is better shape. Doesn't it feel like this is kind of starting to, like, make a little bit of a... Maybe a tabley thing, or I don't know. I, I I think I I think I like it. I might be wrong about it, but I kind of like it for some reason. I don't really know why, but I do. I think the extend is probably also fine. But you see what I mean by how the top is just turning into like Smogeville. Because he's literally getting like one point per stone right now, top of the board, and we're like what. Uh, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 26 uh, points. 26 stones in the game, sorry. I mean, if this is what he wants to do... Okay. Running on second line is a bit of a hmm. Run, 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 little blucher. So, here's something that you never want to do, ever, and I do mean ever, and that's run across the top of the board for one, or like any second line section for one, two, three, four, five lines. Because, <clears throat> truth be told, that doesn't help you. There is a lot of not much going on here. He might turn, 
I mean, I don't really care. Block? Don't block? I'll try to use the influence and approach on the inside. Have him kick me and then we can try to attack this position. Normally I would be in favor of approaching from the... Um... <laughs> if I play here... If he ignores me and I play here, he could play this one. Hane there and then connect. But then I got this one into that, so I think it's fine. So we'll follow up. So now the top two groups are, are separated. I'm still going to uh, approach on the inside here. We can go back and attack this group because it's just got a little base that I can definitely harass. <laughs> so inside we go. But hey, see how he's overplaying by building? I mentioned this so many times on uh, stream. The difference between a server like Pandanet and OGS and like the Western servers generally, them including Pandanet and that, and Fox or Tigem. These these kind of weird overplay weird kind of moves are usually to attack you on Fox, whereas he's just overplaying to try to build but he's not really getting anything just like the attacks that go nowhere on fox this is going nowhere because he sacrificed like all his potential and like created multiple weak groups that are just going to be trying to live with one two three four five six points and it's probably be like about the same thing and yeah see now he's doubling down on his territory but we've got a large knight that's cut off. So, like, where are the points coming from? On Fox, when they play their moves, they just, like, randomly fight over nothing. They're not making any points from it. Here, we've got, like, attempts to grow and build and Tanuki to do that, but he's leaving weak things behind. So, again, this he's got, like, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this, just to get one corner. So this game is over. And I didn't even do anything weird. You know? But yeah, game's done. Game's done. Like, I'll... Like, I could try to kill this. I, I have no reason to. Like, I can just I could just solidify this. Take a point over here. And then... Alright. That's it. That's all I needed. He has to make... A lot more territory. He can't turn around and invade my corner. Getting cut would be bad, so he needs to protect this. This is Sente, I assure you. Sir. Sir. Ooh, we needed to protect, and again. Just like we see elsewhere. Cutting points, cutting points, cutting points. Can I cut this? I don't know. Am I strong here? Yeah, buddy. We made ourselves strong here. Am I strong with the solid wall of doom? Yeah, buddy. We're strong there too. So what's that mean? Well, that means I get to cut. When you cut something, there's one side and then the other side. Are you good on both those sides? Then you can totally get in there. You can totally get in there. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Is this going to die? Probably not. It's already got one eye. I, I imagine it won't. But we're, just making we're making ourselves stronger. We're getting some more territory in the middle. Like, it's really good, right? Really, really, really good. And really, I've only launched one attack. Like, we took his vital point. That wasn't really me attacking him. That was just me being like, hey, you, why'd you play over here? I need to play over here. Like, this cut is the first actual fight I'm launching against him. 
But you can see, don't let them hide ahead of two and three. You can see why we focus on our uh, fundamentals, our basics, right? Because if we did that, we know that that tiger mouth probably needed to extend. We look for how to optimize the stones that are on the board. All right, he jumped, which said influence. So he had a chance to develop the top, but he didn't. So that's weird. So that's him not seeing where the largest development for him was at the time. Give the stones that were on the board. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, he has two extensions. I could have just 3 3 it. And to, to be fair, in today's meta where everyone's 3 3 if like I was just blindly AIing him and I went into the 3 3 and gave him a wall when he already had an extend from it on both sides, like this could have been some serious points, man. So maybe he did this in recognition of the way people are playing nowadays. Is he trying to kill me? Is he trying to kill me? You can't kill a wall this size. Like, it's just not going to happen. That's one eye. And... I could surround him. Uh, I'm not going to, though. So the da the da so the, the thing we have to worry about here is he might fix this and cut through me eventually, right? So I could just play here. It feels a little slow, though, doesn't it? Feels a little slow. There, I'll play here. Kind of gets us out, and then if he plays here, we fix. If he pushes, we cut into a uh, easy shape. Though I'm probably not going to run to it. I'll probably cut through him. When he tries it, I'll probably like poke here and be like, oh, get to cut through you. Cool. Then when he plays here, I can maybe play this one. All right. So yeah, just don't get killed here. So, I don't know, poke here, I suppose. It's like, hey, you, probe. We're not letting these two groups connect up. I mean, that's just not happening. You can... You can completely disabuse yourself of that notion. This could be a thing, maybe? Oh, this is. Here, he draws back, I draw back, and then instead. So, yeah, I could play here. If we can recognize that shape, I'll take. I'll leave my mouse hovering there for a minute so you can see it. Like after I play here, there's a finite number of moves he can play. One is to cut through at N17, and you fall back, and there's that cut, right? Or he just pokes at M17 and tries to come up, but you got a squeeze play on him, so it's not really gonna work either. That said, I don't care. I'm just gonna like come out. But if you can see the shape, good on ya. Good on ya, mate. Though, we've got a German flag on here today. Though, I do not know any German whatsoever. So what is he going to do now? He needs to do an old-timey split on the right-hand side, and he needs to do it fast. If I get an extension over there, then we probably win by like 30, 40 points. But even a split is going to get approached from uh, either side of the split. So it's probably another, what, five points for me, just from uh, responding to the split. And then he takes a two-space extension in Gote, at which point I can maximize the investment on my stones. At that point, the middle becomes... Uh... I don't know, the middle becomes a Bitcoin, and we just go to the moon? I don't know. Now you might be asking yourself, how, how do you know that you can make the middle into like a huge thing? Well, I'm glad you asked. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely thrilled you wanted to know, because low stones can become low. 
and we can keep them low stones low, which means we get what's above the low stones. Now, there's a lot of games out there that you can see this um, in action. Uh, pro games or, you know, my games, whatever. When you're reviewing games, that's where you can really, really take time and see it because, like, you're not actually playing and invested in the game and you're seeing it played out in front of you. A lot of pro games where you can do that. Because, you know, of course, going over pro games are... I always recommend it. I always recommend it. And you can get yourself a nice board, a nice vintage board that won't break the bank over at Baduk.club at their store. And while you're there, you can check out Go players in your area. Maybe you live in Australia. What do you know? You got some happy little Go clubs here that you can go ahead and check out. Assuming you're allowed to do such things again. Baduk.club. One stop shop for in person go. As always, thanks to them for in part sponsoring these videos. Is this a problem? He goes here, I go here, and then I am fine. So, no, not really. If I thought maybe I needed a little bit more uh, oomph to my shape, a little more oomph, 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 then I can play here. And now any kind of cut is doomed to fail. But I will give a tip of the fedora to basics and connect up my group. Might be asking, but what about these two stones? They're gonna die! We don't care. We connect it up. We're fine. It's all we needed. We're good. Ain't got a problem. Might be saying, but what if he tries to run the stone out? I kind of hope he does. The, the answer there is really simple. It's just simple net. You can't really run from a four stone wall with like these two liberties here. You could literally just be like, hey, Atari, and then net, and then the thing's dead. Yippers. Okay. <clears throat> do 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 do. Go ahead and extend. I'm going to destroy you. All right. Got a lot of low stones. Therefore, what we are going to do is keep them low stony stones low. Look at that. Large night gap. So how are you doing? Keeping them low. Keeping them low. What's he going to play? If he doesn't play, okay, that's fine. Hey, you. Me again. How you doing? Miss me? You miss me? Going to cut through you. Gonna cut through you. This is what I mean by keeping low stones low. I wasn't joking that that was a big cut through. Now this stone's by itself. Now let's make ourselves nice and solid. Uh, this Atari isn't the best. This is actually better. Because then I've got like a throw in into a descent, into a cut. I feel like that goes a little bit beyond uh, what I want to do for Le Basux. So I'm going to just extend and continue building the middle again. So we like lost nothing from this. Push back a line, but we've got these two stones that are in trouble. Like this needs to live, this needs to live. This is his main source of territory. Like, that's pain, bro. Oof. Oof. Pain, 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 pain. But that's the downside of third line stones, you know? Third line stones. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. We're not creating a bad shape here. I can retreat one more stone. And we all uchigucha baby. Third line stones have kept low. And if they decide, no, I can't, then you can slice right through them, because what are they going to do about it? So this is attack number two that we've launched. Attack number one got him running here. Uh, attack number two is cutting the bottom. And it has created a new weak group for him. Oh, is he going to just try to go into endgame now? I'm afraid I'm going to murder you if you do that. I, no, I, I will seriously try to kill you. Okay. 
Well, that looks like a uh, elephant eye. So if I play that, that looks like it might be a thing. But I don't know. It looks a little sketch. So that's okay. We'll play here instead. This into the elephant eye. And hey, look at that. We're developing territory too. Like maybe I could have played this directly, but it looked, I don't know. I feel like a cutting point here. It feels weird like creating a group here or when I've got like a cutting point there still that might be a thing. So we just do this and now it ain't a thing no more. It ain't no thing. Cause it ain't got that swing. What up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? You doing good? Eh, I know what you're thinking. You got a weak group, but forget about it. Uh, this diagonal is very, very common in Q-Play, but unfortunately, it also leaves behind two Pokey points, which is why they usually also Hane instantly, which is way too early to Hane. Like, the middle right now is one of the most important things in uh, the game at present. This is also a thing still. If I play here and he denies me, I can literally play here. If he plays here, I can play here. He Hane's, I connect, and it's code to connect up. Kind of huge. Yeah, just having this weird little diagonal shape. I'm sorry, my guy. That does not constitute a base. This is this is overplaying again. This is overplaying again. Like, this group can die, and so can this one. And to be fair, if you're not good at... Because, like, I have Sentai now. Like, I've gotten Sentai a lot this game, it feels like. But if I don't know what to do with Sentei, then yeah, they just have like these little groups everywhere. Like how many groups does he have right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I count that right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So he's got too many groups. I've got one, two, three. All right. So hello. Let's have fun. I want to have fun. You want to have fun? You want to play with me? Hmm, let's play. I want to play. But yeah, this... Not a good idea. This connects up either or. This way or this way. It's up to him. So this has to go into the middle. Fun fact. After he connects here, I don't have to connect up. Because I've got Mii connections. So this means I split him next move. So now he's got two groups that aren't alive, and I get to perform a splitting attack to try to kill one of them. See how easy this is? You see how easy this is? You see how easy this is. You see. You see. You get it. I know you do. Cause like even if he like plays here or whatever, I've got this one, and then he's killing a dead shape. Cause we can anticipate his moves, right? Cause there's Hane on either side, he can't do anything about it. So if I Hane, he plays here. If I connect, he plays here, right? So even if he's got this one, that's not Yeah, like that's Ugh. So we gooch. We ooch the gooch. He can try to cut me. Atari first to make sure that the sun's protected. Because we could play here immediately. And it should be fine because the Atari is not going to matter. But the number of games where I didn't want to play an Atari. Because I thought it was Ajikashi. Like I knew I could have. It was Sente. But in the back of my mind I'm always thinking of. But what if a code breaks out later? I'm, I, there's a period of time where I was really terrified of playing a co. So I'd lose it all the time. And it's because I'd always play those four signals first. That way, not playing it couldn't come back and bite me. But then, ran into a different problem. <laughs> ran into a different problem, didn't we? It's like then, yeah, I came back to bite you because you never played the dang things. 
It's like, ah. All right, what are we doing? I don't know. Just play here, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I guess I could play here. Is that a thing? I mean, why not? Just around the bottom group is not alive. This move feels wrong, though, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, kind of okay. Oh, I'll lean on this one. Not really sure. Not really sure. That said, we don't have to kill him. We don't have to kill him. His territory is bottomless in the corner. Connect this up at like with, with literally just a clamp, go underneath, and that's it. We're done. That's it. We're done. That's all we have to do. Because where are his points? He's got like the six points up here. He's got three, six, nine, twelve here. And those are that's that's his territory. Like I don't have to kill this. But I'm just showing you this month how you can attack things. Like right now I'm strengthening myself. Because if I'm going to attack him, I can't do it with wet noodles. I'm guessing T4 is up next. That is a horrifically bad move. Sir? You're about to kill the bottom group, my friend. Don't play here because he plays here and gets a free thingy. I can play here and now I can go underneath. Okay, I mean, I could have a second ago. Um, this is a my. This isn't really a trick. This is just. Uh. I could play this. It defends both cutting points. Whatever, I'll play here, I don't care. By the way, the threat, I can... Ah, oh, can I still kill him? Like, I can play here. He plays there, I guess. Oh, no, we clamp. We clamp, he drops a honey. And then I'm inside. So, I don't want him to, like, keep poking me. Let's go ahead and and save these stones. I guess. Make sure it doesn't turn around and accidentally get, like, two, four points, whatever. So, this has to go to here to live. That is a bad move. That's, there are no eyes there. My buddy, ain't no eyes there. What are you doing? There ain't no eyes there. What do you think you're doing? You need two eyes, my friend. And some people are, like, terrified of not answering that. It's like, oh, but my territory. Oh, but his eyes. What do you care about your territory for? This is becoming our territory, because he ain't got any eyes. What's he going to do? Make another move over in here? I'll kill him. So, come on. Where, where, where are them peepers at? Show me them peepers. Okay, he's got like... He's almost got... Well, actually, he's got... Yeah, okay, he's got one. I'm diagonaling because I don't want to create any weaknesses if I can avoid it. Because we are trying to kill him. At this point, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to kill him. We're actively hunting. We are actively hunting at this point. Let's go hunt do 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 And I'm taking, uh, so yeah, this does two things. One, it's, um, uh, words, things. Took a shape point, and the other one, it strengthened the diagonal, uh, slightly, or the, the, the jump slightly. It looks like this is the right move. Is there a reason not to play it? I can't think of a reason not to play it. I mean, he tried to roll. He just tried to roll in the small night. I could go for this cut though. This cut's kind of cute. It's kind of sexy. You know, I'm sure it's got a name. What's your name, Mr. Cuddy? Oh, really? Well, how are you doing, Mr. Cuddy? Just feeling like cutting things. Oh, are you? I know you are. I feel like you are cut out for this game.
Mm. I do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, the small knight being cut is pretty basic. Right? You all agree? Yes. Thank you, chat. Um. Kind of want to go for this one, though. I'm a little bit worried about this one. I go here, he cuts me, and then the Tari Tari Hane. And then I think I'm dead, theoretically. I don't know. I'll go for this one instead, then. Because this group only has three, uh, four liberties. The minute I play here, it's going to have, like, three, and then two... Like, I'm a little concerned about trying to perform uh, that particular maneuver. Also, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but this group's dying now that's been cut off. <laughs> like, there's this one into a poke, into a here, he only has one eye along the entire thing. So he can go here, 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 here. And essentially, he turns into a huge clump because he gets this one... And then I'm uh, poking, so he gets this one, and then I'm turning, and he gets this one, and then I'm poking, and then he gets this one, and then we go for the other eye, so he gets that one. No, sorry, I get that one, sorry. And then you can see that he has to live with that shape. On my turn, I have Sente. On my turn, I have Sente at that point. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, I think about just playing this one. I don't see a reason not to just play, play here, into here. Am I missing something like really, really huge? Like absolutely enormous? I don't think I am. Yeah, just poke this out before you can make uh, a little El Tigrimut kind of shape kind of dealio here, right, right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause then like here into here could have been a thing maybe, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna go and poke that or we just cut through and kill. I mean, that's fine too. I think he needs to like play. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I think he's just dead. I think he's just dead personally. Could be wrong, but I think he is. And again, don't have to kill him. I could have just instead, just as easily, just as easily, been like, all right, um, I'm just gonna play here now, and then there you go. Like that's that's more profit than he has on this board. That'd be a 2, let's see, a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, uh, 9, 10, almost maybe 30 point, no, probably 25. 25 point uh, center. That's huge, yo. And that's just from harassing the groups that aren't alive, that weren't alive. Huge, 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 huge. As it stands, he created three groups that weren't alive. You got this one over here, right? There was like one, two, three. And yeah. Actually, no, he, this will cut off four. So it's four groups that weren't alive. I was going to reinforce. I, I could have thrown into his uh, shape point here, but I just don't think I need to. At this point, you might as well go for Broken Hane at S12. Just go ahead and Hane here. It'll be profit if he lives in it's Sente, so might as well get it in, right? But the downside is, at best, he lives in Gote, and then I just, like, take the 25 points in the middle. Which immediately activates uh, the threat of the entire middle left group dying. Because it can't continue to go anywhere. With the shape, with the moons that I showed you before. Uh, so if I can take that in Sente, then we can poke at the corner and end game, And just shore up the rest, and that's GG. Oh, 
would appear that my NVIDIA broadcast is once again not working like it's supposed to. I hate when it does that. Uh, so annoying. So I must apologize for the background noise you've been hearing in the video today. Sorry, 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 sorry. Many apologizings. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it was being dumb. Didn't realize it was being dumb. Uh, that guy's play here, right? Does it matter? I think so. Should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. Uh huh. Um. Um, you could get one eye, play here. If he plays here, then we play this one. Then it's a block here, and we just turn left. But yeah, I do believe my friend here is no longer among the living. Yeah, I don't see a way for this to live. I don't see it. I think it's dead. All right, he's going for the cut, but we've already looked at that. Just go ahead and defend. Not an issue there. I thought he was going to try to go for a cut here, but then we would Atari the two stones. He connects and we Atari that, and then it's just taken care of uh, nicely that way. Because if he'd gone ahead and cut directly, my answer couldn't be the net. Otherwise, um... I guess it would have been fine. Yep, this is fine too. Now, this one's actually kind of tricky. If I play here, it doesn't work, and he can actually play here and get two eyes. If I play here, he can play here, and he's got me eye for two eyes. The only answer, and if I play here, he can play this one first and try to kill me, and that's also a problem. So we play this one first and foremost. Like, you have to play this one, or he lives. So it looks like there were three or four branches that are possible here, but only one actually keeps him dead. And it's easy to make a mistake there, and then that's just, um, you know, very unfortunate. So we're going to go over in slow motion at the end of this how exactly he managed to um, kind of Kind of get in a little bit of a bad way here. I prefer doing this one rather than the other one. It falsifies it, so we're all good. If I did this one, it's also okay, but then maybe there's, I don't know, something else over, I don't know. Um, How do I add time to him again? I forgot. Add time one. There we go. I don't want him like flailing for timeout or whatever. But yeah, we'll go ahead and look at how this game went uh, badly for him. That way you can all recognize the signs of this sort of thing. And, you know, not make a mistake in it in your own games. Uh-huh. I mean, he broke in. I mean, he broke in. But everything's connected now, so there's no longer any kind of... There's no longer any kind of thing here. We might try to kill the left-hand side. Oh, nope, he's ending. He just said thanks. Alright, so game ogre. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened here. Go ahead and open. Toggle coordinates. Right, so how did this game go the way it went is the question of the day. I did a regular orthodox 
He approached on the outside. Cool. He built up with not the end of the world, but okay. Trying something over in here. This was the first mistake of the game because there's no really great variations here, in my opinion. And a lot of ones that are kind of, mm, I don't know about that. Like, by attach, you can't cut. Because if you do the old school variation, then what on earth are these two stones doing? That, I think, is just like a hard loss right out the gate. You jumped. You committed to a jump to build the top. The top is never being built. This would have been a bad idea. You can be like, well, then I'm going to play this one for the territory. And be like, yes. <sighs> Fine, you technically, actually no, we, we wouldn't do that, we would do, they do this one, don't they? And then we do this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one, and that one. Same thing, different day. Like, what on earth are these two stones doing? So we can't honey on the inside, no matter how you look at it. So yeah, he played it this way. We also wouldn't want to play this way. This is normal, but... Why why jump just for like this low uninteresting position? Like I don't care about that. Why why on earth would I care about two, four, six, eight, ten points, maybe a couple more? I don't count these because obviously there's uh you know, as you can see here, there's a connection in the endgame. So it's really just pretty much that right there. And for that, you're giving up a 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, maybe 12, 14 point corner. Yikes. That's a yikers. So you play this one instead, which okay. Needs to play here. This is the way I, I was hoping the game was going to go. I would push him once. And now I was just going to go ahead and do like maybe a pincer over to here. So he wants to do. If he enclosed, I'd just not do that. That'd be bad. I was just going to go ahead and kill the stone off. We continue along our merry little way. You see how much more potential white has this game than the previous uh, variation? This is just following, well, except for this and some of what happened here. It's mostly just following basics for white. So much more potential. He played here, which is the first time I could have gone ahead and played this one. Yeah, I mean... This is just a problem. Like, nothing on the top is working well together. Then he jumped back. We just took this away, because obviously we did. I guess maybe this one here would have been a little better. That way, when he tries to push, it's better shape. Yeah, I like that a little bit better, I guess. But we connected, so whatever. He doesn't want to play it, but he doesn't have a choice. Those are the moves he's committed to now, whether he likes it or not. And then even something as simple as, like, this later could develop points, right? It could easily develop off that later. But all right, he played over here instead. Um, I mean, at this point, maybe just laying this corner die might have been better. But all right, he didn't let it die. Kicking here would have been better as well. Either way, these stones are under attack. He just took his territory, and that's actually the end of the game. That is actually the end of the game. If you look at uh, territory, we see that black's ahead, and it's just going to get worse. We played here. This, again, was small. I could have gone ahead and gone for a cut here. And done a full in circle. Not much he can say about it. At this point, he has to make sure he's not dead. That would be a very, very, very important thing to do. But I mean, at that point, it's just like, let's just keep surrounding all the things. And then this has to live. And then, yeah, it just gets, it just gets really bad really, really quickly. That's not dead, moron. Wait, why is him only up by 18 points if this is actually alive? 
Oh, because it's killing me. Oh, it's trying to kill me. Well, that's rude. Stop it. Could you? Thank you. Even with it dead, I was up by 18 points, though. But yeah, you get, you get the idea, right? You get the idea. Um... So we didn't do that one, we just kind of defended ourselves and did did some pretty easy connection stuff. Not that thing too crazy. This is, I don't know, it's just so important. It's just so important. I might have even given him Sente back after that one, to be honest. Be like, alright, that's all I wanted. I don't, I don't get, there's no reason to get greedy. This? One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. They get to cut him. And now we've got two two space extensions. Now, technically, this isn't really Sente. I could go in now for like surrounds and or sweeps to attack him. But this is this is okay. This is okay. He jumps out, he's defending himself. Now, one thing I didn't get a chance to show is this one. I didn't get a chance to show this, unfortunately. This is an insane co from him now. I think it goes something like that one. And this is just Picnic. This is just Picnic, because we've got things over here that we can do still. We've got... Um, like, things up here we can do still. Things up here we can do still. Things over here we can do still. So, it's not a... He can't, he can't play a cow. There's too many weak things on the board. This was just... Stay nice and strong. Ideally, here, I think, is when you would go back and attack this shape. Because the connection here is kind of small. But, I mean, it's a sente, so why not? Um, and yeah, here it's just not letting him connect or play small move, you know? It's really all, it's, it's all it is. But it's easy to get caught up by this kind of style of play because you'll notice he didn't go into any kind of crazy attack is my position that you would see on like Fox or Taichung or wherever. And we had a bit more of an active role to play in the game. Like, he's still playing some pretty bad moves. But we had to decide how to take advantage of those. Am I going to take advantage of them aggressively? Am I going to do it passively and just try to build? Like, what are we going to do? And if you're bad at making choices in your game, which I think a lot of people are who say that, you know, oh, Fox, or, uh, you know, Fox is so much weaker than, you know, insert ser server here. It, it's because on the other servers, I think you're just really, really bad at making choices. Or you're responding to your opponent, like over here, when you don't need to. Right? Like, there's still, still six groups on the board, three of which aren't living right now. Sound familiar? They're just doing it in a different way. So, hope you enjoyed this kind of a tacky uh, tacky game. I, I attacked as much as I could reasonably. Hope that helps your games, and as always, I will see you next time. Take care, buddy.